I bet you can't guess what time it is. Yes, it's the weekly vlog time. Right after this. Good Friday morning up here in Cartersville, Georgia at the TA. We stayed here last night. We got empty yesterday down in, uh, where were we at? Oakwood, Georgia. Yeah, we got there just in time. And uh, they still didn't start unloading until after 1300. So we stayed there most of the afternoon. And uh, the hours are starting to run low. So they sent us this load here to pick up Calhoun, Georgia this morning heading towards Texas uh, right now I'm getting uh, directions looking up by looking it up on Google Maps and seeing how I can get over there to it looks like a pretty easy place to get to it's only 20 miles away from here so that's uh, real good all right, I gotta get off here and uh, start drinking some coffee. And go get this load. Went to our customer here in Calhoun, Georgia. Kind of tight, kind of an old dock area. We're gonna have to make a swing of U-turn right there to uh, get back here to our dock right there. I think we'll be all right. I will find out here in a second. I guess that's about the only way to do anything down here is to make a U-turn. He had to make a U-turn to get in here. All right, let's do it. Attention. A new important message has arrived. Back up a little bit. All right, we got it. I think. Tight turn, tight turn. We got it now. Yeah, good turn, good turn. get out open the doors and back on in there we are down there in the dock getting loaded it should be about halfway finished by now beautiful day down here in Georgia kind of windy uh, it's alright not too bad and this dock here it was fun to get into I had to come all the way up here and just kind of roll backwards down the hill kind of had to do a few pull ups but we got her done got it in there now we're getting loaded about ready to get out of here I believe Finally got out of that place, got loaded, came on down here. I'm at uh, Tallapoosa, Georgia, I think. Exit 5 on I-20. So I'm here to get something to eat. We haven't had anything to eat today. Windy out, you can probably tell. That's what we're doing. We're going to get something to eat and get on 20 and head west.
Saturday morning. We made it over here to Meridian, Mississippi. Over at the Spaceway Truck Stop. I like stopping in here and when I'm in this area. They have some good food, nice restaurant. And just uh, one of the old time type truck stops. Not one of the big chain truck stops. Not yet anyway. So we got our pre-trip finished, got our coffee, and we are getting ready to head towards Texas. How's Steam, Texas? I think they want me to get in there tonight and check see if they'll take it, but I'm not going to be able to do anything once I get over there probably. It'll probably be tonight sometime if I can get over there tonight. Might be first thing in the morning. We'll start heading that way and see what happens. I don't know. It's Saturday, so we're just gonna head west on 20, kick back, listen to some music, and get on down the road. All right, let's go. Palestine, Texas, that's right. It's Palestine, Texas, not Palestine. Get it right. <laughs> Here's the customer. Dropped our loaded trailer over there. Just hooked to our empty. And uh, yeah, it's raining. I wanted to do this outside with the camera, but it's raining. I got a little bit of wet hooking up to the empty. I guess this is the only empty we have here. Cause they got a big old dirt lot. Well, now it's mud full of empty trailers but only one of ours that I can find so it looks like a pretty good trailer it's got all the aerodynamic stuff on it so maybe it'll save a, a few half a cents a gallon a mile or whatever and we're gonna go up here and check out I seen a truck stop about four or five miles up the road up there in downtown Palestine. We're going go up there, park it. I'm done. I'll be done for the day. Because when we left this morning, there at the uh, Spaceway truck stop in Meridian, Mississippi, it was 450 miles to here. Well, that's a pretty good day. Pretty good day. It didn't start raining until uh, about an hour from here. It's the only rain we've seen, and now it's really raining now. All right, let's get out. We got to check out here at the gate, and uh, heading up to the truck stop. I'm here at the Gateway Truck Stop. Palestine, Texas. Parked here for the night. Didn't really go in there to Denny's, I guess, and get something to eat. Guess we can find something else around here. Not a big fan of Denny's, but it'll do, I guess. But man, yeah, it rained like crazy on the way up here. And, uh, yeah, like the wind picked up. I don't know if it's going to get chilly or what, but not too bad yet we'll see how it comes out so that's it for today time to rest up a little bit and we'll see you all in the morning beautiful Sunday morning here in Palestine Texas yeah we're still sitting here at the Gateway Travel Center I guess there is no freight this morning or today haven't got a load yet Still waiting around, that's alright. If we gotta wait till in the morning, that's fine. I'm just resting up. Uh, that run last week from up to Georgia about killed me, so. <laughs> uh, yeah, getting old, I guess. But that's fine. We'll get at least another short one in, hopefully, on this week's payroll. I don't know, we'll see. <clears throat> we'll see tomorrow. Or maybe they'll send me a pre-plan later on, picking up somewhere tomorrow. 
a short little run hopefully if not that's fine had a not a busy week except for that one load that was busy itself as far as uh mileage wise not that busy but not too bad i've had worse and i've had better but that's that's all right we're getting ready to uh work on our other video series trucking news unfiltered i hope uh y'all been checking those videos out and uh, that's it as soon as something comes up something happens we get a load y'all will be the first to know well besides me anyway all right have a good day well it's a monday morning and boy is it a monday morning bad news i was uh finally got a load out of here i was supposed to go up to corsicana texas pick up for indiana and I was doing my pre-trip this morning and I found a wheel seal on the tractor was leaking. So now we're going to go up the road about three miles and get this fixed. I noticed a puddle. See that puddle right there? I seen that this morning and I got feeling around. And it's coming from the inside of that uh, wheel right there. So I'm glad we caught it. That's why you should always do pre-trips. There's not going to be a whole lot, hopefully, to get that fixed. So we're going to go up about three miles up the road to the shop. They're waiting on us. So let's get out of here. Get this taken care of so we get back to trucking. Wheel seal has been replaced and we are rolling again on Highway 287 here in Texas. down here to our shipper Corsicana Texas dropped our empty over there picked up our preloaded trailer now we're getting ready to get out of here after we check everything yes we do check everything we don't want anything happening like this morning could have happened if I didn't check the truck Everything here looks good on the trailer, and uh, so far the truck is doing good. The wheels kind of freaked me out a little bit when I got out and checked when I got here. Uh, they didn't clean the wheel off and had all that grease and stuff on it. I said, oh no, it's still leaking on the outside now. 
when I cleaned the wheel off, that just what was left over. So it kind of freaked me out a little bit, but it's all good now. Everything looks good here. Let's get on up the road. That's it for today, everybody. I'm at the TA Prescott, Arkansas. Exit 44 on uh, 30. We did a total of 287 miles since we got loaded down there in Corsicana. And it's uh, 2100 now. 9 o'clock Central Time. So that's it. I don't want to drive too late because it makes for a late start tomorrow. So we're going to take our 10 hour break here. Get up and Run some miles. Cold, cold Tuesday morning here in Prescott, Arkansas. Get some fuel and get ready to head towards Indiana. We gotta run some miles today. Probably gonna try for Effingham, Illinois. That'll give us enough time to get up in the morning and beat our delivery over in Indiana. By 11 a.m. their time. Well, hopefully everything will go good today. Okay, it's going to be a pretty nice day. A little chilly. That's it. Go get some coffee and get on up the road. Look at there. Yes. Snow flurry. Nothing to worry about. We'll probably be out of it here shortly. We've been running in and out of it like this for the last 100 miles or so. Uh, we're about 70 eastbound at the Illinois Indiana State Line. So better. There we go. Yeah, see, we've been ready to get out of it now. system there. Not too worried about it. It's above, way above freezing. It's 38 or something. So we're not worried about freezing or anything like that. So. Getting ready to stop up here in Brazil, Indiana. Because we got uh, one hour and nine minutes. And we're going to take 30 of that. Petro up here in Brazil. We'll check in when we get up there. See the snow's gone just about already. Good deal. Well look you there. <laughs> we stopped at uh, Brazil the Petro and yeah it's snowing again. That's a little bit of flurry. It's nothing bad. Nothing like they're getting up in the northeast right now. And tomorrow. So this is all going to pass. It'll blow away. I'm on the last parking spot here on the end. And it uh, looks like I got somebody coming up beside me to park. And there's no parking spot over there. So it looks like he's going to be parked illegally. There's a couple spots over there. And uh, that's how it is. Truck style is about full anyway, so I guess you gotta make your own parking sometimes. But I don't like doing that unless it's absolutely necessary because you never know when you're gonna get somebody trying to wake you up in the middle of the night to move. You gotta move, you can't park there. So we're gonna go here and get something to eat and go to bed. We gotta big day tomorrow yep so we'll check in in the morning 17 degrees here in Brazil Indiana on a Wednesday morning pre-trips over we got our coffee getting ready to head up the road we gotta go uh, around Indianapolis so that might take a little bit but I think we're gonna be all right on delivery time just good hours to get there Plenty of hours on the logbook, so let's go trucking. <laughs> this is I 69 North. We're at the 243 mile marker. They've got a truck on the, on the side over here.
we're running loaded up here in Marion, Indiana, getting ready to get out of here and go down and get our next load. But we're going to cover that on next week's vlog because we're going to end this vlog right here. Because it is Wednesday, and uh, you know what that means. Time to edit the vlog tonight. So I uh, appreciate everybody checking out the vlogs every week. Don't forget to check out the new series, Trucking News Unfiltered. And it's cold up here, man, Indiana. It's cold. So I'm going to make this quick. Everybody have a good one. Stay safe. And I will see you next week.